YouTube, it's Bebop the 7 here, and welcome back to Warrior Cats Untold Tales Honey Clan! Now, in the last episode, Honeycomb um, scared this poor little uh, new cat, Shade Pelt, who's an absolutely ridiculously beautiful shy tabby. Silver tabby, too, which is gorgeous! But um, Honeycomb might have been a little bit overwhelming because she is very hyper, very excitable. Um, and uh, she was kind of hopping all around this cat, and considering how Shade Pelt's kind of very shy and reserved, uh, that was probably not the easiest thing to deal with. Uh, a crazy cat kind of just bouncing around you like, welcome, 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 welcome! I imagine that was kind of scary. But uh, I'm not sure what she wants to do today, so we'll have to see. Honeycomb's just kind of playing around right now. I think uh, let's go ahead and let her eat. So, she is going to share a bird with uh, Thornkit, and then Leafshade and Duststripe are going to share a bird, and Shade Pelt can have a bird all to her own. So let's go ahead and eat. And I think looking at the prey pile, Honeycomb's going to realize, oh, you know what, we probably should do some hunting. So I think she's going to invite her usual hunting companion along with her. And um, I think... Um, Let's see, let's go ahead and... There we go, I forgot the button to have them follow me for a second. We're gonna go ahead and go down and start hunting. But, uh... You know what, I have re I have noticed that Honeycomb hasn't been bringing Dust Stripe out a lot. And I'm kind of wondering why that is. I mean... I think Honeycomb still feels a little bit embarrassed. Oh no, Honeycomb! Oh no! He lost the mouse! And Leaf Shade stepped on a branch. Okay, we're gonna go to the next tile. But I think Honeycomb feels a little bit embarrassed. She's still feeling guilty. I think she still feels guilty for having Oh, the bird the bird left. For having kind of told Dust Stripe you've gotta stay here. For stopping her, not letting her leave the territory. Basically, not letting her go anywhere where other cats are a possibility. And go! Another bird! Good job! So I think Honeycomb's still trying to get over the fact that she had to do that to her friend. And it really does suck when you have to do stuff like that, especially if you're kind of in the role of a leader. Oh, Leaf Shade, you poor thing. You tried. But when you're in a leadership role like she is, and uh, look at her! She's actually getting a drink for herself. Oh, looks like a Leaf Shade and Dust Stripe scolding has come a long way if moss would actually fall. But when you're in a position of leadership and your friend works for you, or your friend kind of... Basically your friends kind of got, has to listen to you somewhat. Whenever you have to kind of tell them off or scold them or move them to a place where you know they might not like to work there, but I mean they're the only person at that time who knows it. Okay, we're gonna go to a different tree because that tree does not want to give us moss. But uh, it can be hard, so I think Honeycomb's kind of feeling guilty for having uh, having to tell Duststripe to stay behind. Having to tell her friend and kind of order her around and just kind of, that's enough, that's enough. Are you serious? Come on, let her get a drink. Really? Come on. Oh my word, that is ridiculous! Okay, Honeycomb is gonna have to run back home to get a drink because of how ridiculous everything was there. Goodness. So... Oh my word. You know what I think we're gonna do? We're gonna leave little moss patches in every little territory spot so that Honeycomb can have a, have a chance to drink. Okay, I think Honeycomb's feeling a little bit bitter right now. Tree, are you gonna give us any moss? Doesn't look like it. We should, we should have her come down here more often to try and get more moss, but, uh, hmm. Oh, there's a mouse. But I wonder how she might be able to possibly make it up to Dust Stripe. I mean, to be fair, she was kind of right, you know. She was. Because Dust Stripe was getting a little bit crazy. She was, I mean, understandably so. It looks like that mouse left of its own accord. But, I mean, I understand it, because, hey, the clan you were in for so long kicks you out for the one time you decided to share a meal with a with a rogue. 
And considering that she herself um, had recently become a rogue, I imagine that she um, sympathized, she felt bad, but then seeing how Duststripe reacted to other clan cats, whoa there, it was a little bit much. And, oh, there we go, we got the bird! Sorry, Leaf Shade, Honeycomb's really into hunting birds today, so she's like jumping ahead of you and stuff. But, uh, she's just... Hmm. Duststripe just has a lot of, I guess you could say, baggage. So, I'm not sure. Honeycomb's still trying to figure out how to help her friend, how to move past it, and she keeps accidentally stealing all the kills from Leafshade. Here, Leafshade. Go ahead, you try. Leafshade, are you gonna try? Oh, you did it! There we go. There we go. I think you needed to stop taking those those kills from your friend, huh? Let him hunt a bit. Let him get some energy out. Oh my, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, we nearly stepped on a branch. But, uh, these two are just kind of hunting and companionable. Companionable? Not sure how to say that <laughs> properly. I keep saying it wrong. But, companion... Uh, friendly silence. There we go. We'll say friendly silence. Are you gonna get the bird? Aw, oh, you missed it. But it's okay. You guys did get a lot of prey. You guys do have to go hunting a lot more, though. So we're gonna sneak close up. We're gonna target this birdo. And Leafshade got this one. Nice. Okay, I'm glad Honeycomb decided to kind of get out of her head and let Leafshade let loose some energy. Because Leafshade's probably feeling um, pretty trapped, too. I imagine he's... I don't know how he feels. He thinks Honeycomb should take up the role of leadership yet, and I personally do think she's right in not taking it up yet, because she's still very new to all this, and there aren't really a lot of cats. They don't really have a clan yet, you know what I mean? Oh! Scared the mouse. It'd be cool if you could, like, uh, try to get the mice as they're running away, but uh, that's kind of in the quote-unquote updated version of this cattails. So, whoop! And she got the mouse this time. I was afraid to let Leafshade try and get it because I didn't want him to scare it away. We need the prey. But, uh, yeah, so I think Honeycomb might have to talk to Duststripe. And we'll have to see how Duststripe feels. I'm very curious to see if she'll kind of forgive, I suppose. Let's go ahead and let you go back. She's gonna say goodnight to them um, and awkwardly scoot away from, from Duststripe. She's gonna say goodnight to Thornkit, goodnight to Shade Pelt, who's just very quietly staring at the barriers and kind of just muttering, yeah, goodnight, goodnight. She's gonna go ahead and uh, go to bed, and then we'll actually go ahead and put the prey down in the morning. So let's let her sleep. And it's the morning, so I'm gonna go ahead and let her eat. Her and Thornkit, her and Dust Stripe, and I think this time... Shade Pelt is going to eat a mouse. So let's drop the rest of the prey down. Oh, I'm so glad that we got a full hunting day yesterday. That was nice. Wish we could have gotten more too, but oh well. She's gonna go ahead and get a drink and... What? Uh, did, is there a bird up there? Did you guys... Oh, you got me a bird! Oh, dust stripe. I wonder if this is kind of like a peace offering. If this is to kind of try to make Honeycomb feel a little better. You know what, I think that Honeycomb, kind of out of the blue, she's gonna go ahead and just invite Duststripe out again. It had been so long since they've gone out together. And I think Honeycomb is going to nervously chit-chat about all the pretty butterflies, don't they look so lovely? Um, they're just so nice, and oh, you know what, this tree, oh, oh, and you, now you wanna give moss? And this tree just wasn't giving moss to, uh, wasn't giving moss to uh, Leafshade and I yesterday when we were hunting, and Oh, look at the rocks and the grass. Isn't it very nice, Dust Stripe? And she's kind of nervously chitter-chattering. She's feeling... She is feeling a bit awkward. Because it has been a... It has been a while since they've actually gone out gathering together. So I think that uh, she's just kind of trying to distract herself. And uh, I mean, Dust Stripe scratching from the other side of the tree trying to get some moss for us. And Honeycomb just kind of sitting there, just avoiding it, I guess. She's almost avoiding the issue. And uh, let's go ahead, let's gather up some brambles. Oh, oh, hello, Dust Stripe. Hi, hi, um, cough, cough. Let's get some brambles and let's go back now. So she's, feel she's still feeling so awkward, you guys. 
But, uh, come on, Deathstripe. Help us, uh, place these. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna place some more brambles, we're gonna place some more moss. Um, cause at the moment, Honeycomb is trying to make this place nice, warm, and, uh, soft and cozy, and eventually she could get more feathers. That would be interesting to try and get more feathers. But, uh, they're gonna go back out again, and I think Deathstripe... I think she's just going to kind of, like, pat Honeycomb on the shoulder a bit, like, are you okay? And Honeycomb's just, uh, no, no, maybe, I mean, yes, wait, what? Yeah, I'm fine, okay. And now here comes the talk. Look, Honeycomb, I understand, okay? I understand why you had to do what you did, and I am sorry that you feel so nervous, but we're still friends, okay? You don't need to be so shy and awkward. Where's, where's, like, what's with the nervous chatter? You, you seem so, so nervous, and Honeycomb's just, I just, I mean, I don't like, I, I know I'm supposed to be the leader, I know I'm supposed to be this powerful figure that just, just says what she, she wants and tells people to, need, like, tells the cats to do what they need to do, and it's just, I don't know, I don't know, Dust Stripe. I mean, Leafshade wants me to take up the role of Honeystar already. I, I, I think our clan's too small. I mean, I ordered you around and that didn't feel... Just... It feels awkward taking that role. Even if I'm... I don't think we're ready, you know? And Deathstripe being the good friend she is, I don't... I mean, she probably d isn't happy about the fact that she does have to stay behind in the clan. But she understands it, because she does get very crazy when other clan cats are around, and normally she's calm and thoughtful, and when other clan cats are around, she goes cuckoo uh, nutter butters. So I think she's just going to, just going to kind of comfort Honeycomb a little bit and just, you know, just give her a pat. Like, it's okay. I understand. I mean, you do have leader material, and this is your clan, but it's not quite a clan yet. And if you're not ready, then you're not ready. So just take your time. You'll know when it's right to take the role of Honey Star. You'll know when it's right. But let's go ahead and get some more moss. And we're actually going to go ahead and pick this one up. And we're going to drop it by the rock. The moss by the rock is for us to drink from. Speaking of which, she and Deathstripe are going to do that right now. They're going to go ahead and get a drink. Do, 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 do. And you know what? I think Duststripe actually is happy to just be staying around the staying around the clan. I mean, she doesn't she does feel a little awkward, a little bit like um, she's a child, a little kit being told to sit in a corner for misbehaving. But I think she's also kind of relieved in realizing that she held, she still has quite a bit of space to explore, and she still has her friends. She still has Leaf Shade. Which, uh, which could be interesting, too. I, I kind of, I kind of wonder if they might have kits someday soon. That would be really cool. But, uh, and she still has Honeycomb, and Honeycomb and Dust Stripe seem to have patched up some of that awkwardness a bit. And hopefully this will make her feel better about not taking on the title of Honey Star just yet. Because... You know, I mean, when you think about it, their clan is still very small. There's only there's only four other cats beside Honeycomb. It would be kind of ridiculous to go and just become, like, an official clan already. It's it's so early on. But, uh, I think, I think it's okay. I think they're gonna be okay. Honeycomb's feeling better. Deathstripe's, uh, words of wisdom. You'll know when it's time. Uh, you'll know when you're ready it made her feel so much better and Another thing that's making her feel better of course is gathering all the plants. I mean just look at all this moss Oh my gosh, it seems so comfortable But I think that she's gonna go ahead and let dust stripe sit down and rest and uh, She's gonna go she's gonna go do some extra hunting because she uh, wants to take advantage of the season while she has it because she learned that in winter animals prey not really an easy find so we're gonna go ahead and try to leap get some more food we're gonna get some more mice 
so that we can save the birds for winter to feed more of our cats. And I think she, yeah, I think that might not be a bad idea, saving the birds for winter. But, uh, hmm. Let's, let's bring that back. We're gonna keep hunting. She is feeling a bit hungry, so she's gonna have to go back soon, go to bed. But we're gonna let her do a little more, do a little more. But I think after that talk with Dust Stripe, Honeycomb's starting to feel a little more clear-headed and feeling better knowing that she made the right decision because she wasn't ready. She wasn't ready to take on that role yet. She wasn't ready to become the leader yet. So for now, she's going to go ahead and drop off the mice to this slightly growing prey pile. Then she's going to go ahead and go to bed. Now... Oh, this is new. The music changed. It's still New Leaf, though. Okay, so it's still spring. But that was just a sudden music change. Oh, wow. It's actually really pretty, though. Do, 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 do. Let's go ahead and get some food. Okay, so she's gonna eat a mouse. I think Thornkit will eat a mouse, and Shade Pelt will eat a mouse. And then, um, Leaf Shade and Dust Stripe will eat a bird together. And Honeycomb's gonna go ahead and get a drink. The prey pile's a little smaller. So I think today she's gonna do some reflection. I think today she's gonna do some reflection and she's gonna go off on her own to do some hunting. To do some hunting. So we're gonna go ahead and let her try to get some more food. And you know what? Actually, I think she knows where some easy prey can be, uh, be gathered. So what she's going to do is she's gonna go all the way up to kind of Whoa! Shade Clan territory! Quick dodge that battle! Oh my word, that was- Whoa! Keep running! Don't let the cats get you! Oh, all these hostile cats. Honeycomb just can't understand it. I mean, why would they attack each other? There, there's no reason to, right? But, uh, oh, Shade Clan! Gotta dodge, gotta dodge! And out of the way. Barely got it in time. <gasps> Keep running! Wow, the clans are really active today. So Honeycomb is gonna keep darting in and out of the way. Phew, the cats are really active today, but you know what, Honeycomb, it's okay, because there might be some easy prey in here for you to bring back to your home. Real nice, easy prey, just left here, probably by the two legs, and there's some cats trying to get at you. I guess it's just a mouse this time. You might have gotten more if you just stayed. But there's a Shadow Clan cat, so you- Oh, there's two! You gotta run! Ugh, sneaking into the Shadow- To the Shadow Clan territory may not be the easiest thing to do. But it was a bit of food, so it was worth it. Ugh, there are all these cats, so hostile. Oh, gotta keep running! Gotta keep running, Honeycomb. I honestly don't know if it was worth it. Aw, there's a feather! Why don't you go ahead and pick that up? Actually? You know what? Why don't you go pick up some more feathers? It's been a long time, and feathers add a nice soft touch. Some more feathers? Feathers? Gonna keep checking? Nope. So why don't you go up this way? And you know what? She just can't resist the flowers, you guys. She just can't resist the flowers. It's been so long since she's gotten to collect. So maybe sneaking up and trying to grab the prey from the, uh, from the Shadow Clan little base wasn't a bad idea or shed. It wasn't exactly their base. It was a place where I think the uh, where the two legs seem to drop off their stuff and it looks like sometimes uh, that stuff is, you know, quote unquote, uh, vermin to them. But pray to us, food to us. So let's go ahead, let's go home and let's drop off these flowers, these feathers, and this food that we gathered. Oh! Dodge Water Clan! Whoo! Honeycomb, really? You know what, she's probably glowing right now because to her, these flowers were worth it. Oh my goodness, but she did get hurt a lot. So she's gonna need to go to sleep soon. But I think she's gonna come back, maybe with a few scratches, and she's just gonna show off these flowers. Look, look at what I got, look at what I got, look at what I got. And she's gonna drop some around a uh, shape pelt to hopefully make Shade Pelt feel a little more comfortable. She's gonna drop some of the feathers around, make her feel better, and then she's gonna go ahead and drop off the mouse that she grabbed. 
And uh, I think Leafshade's gonna kind of look at her like, where, where, where were you? What were you doing? It's like, I went to, uh, you know that, like, um, that, oh goodness, what is it? What do the two legs call it? I don't know what they call it. That, like, um, the big box. The big box? Yes, the big box. There was, a, there was a mouse in there. Sometimes there's prey in there. That way I don't have to do the hunting. And then I got flowers and feathers. And there were a lot of cats. There were a lot of cats, but flowers, Leafshade! Flowers! And as usual, she's being ridiculous. But alright, you guys, I do think that's gonna be it for this episode. And uh, Honeycomb, she talked with Dust Stripe today, she hunted with Leaf Shade today, and she also snuck into uh, Shadow Clan territory to go to the big box where the two lakes often dump some prey. But uh, yes, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I wanna thank you all for watching, but I'm gonna be bopping on out of here, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye!